Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be diving into the Hasina 2 eyeshadow palette from the indie brand Blush Tribe. I'm going to show you the palette, talk a little bit about it, show you some swatches, do a tutorial on this eye look right here, and then give you my thoughts after using it for the first time today. So if you like these types of videos, please go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing because I do these types of videos all the time. <laughs> along with tutorials, swatches, reviews, um, and other beauty co related content here on my channel every Saturday. Now the Hasina 2 palette from Blush Tribe, they do have the Hasina palette which is a more colorful rainbow type palette and this is the Hasina 2 which is a cool palette, a cool tone palette. And it's from the indie brand Blush Tribe which I had never heard of before, <laughs> before purchasing this palette. And I've been saying that a lot this summer. I've ordered quite a few things from indie brands I'd never heard of before for the first time this summer so I've been exploring other brands which has been very exciting because you know the for the most part the mainstream brands are putting out kind of similar things that we've seen before and the indie brands I feel like especially this summer have been really doing different things um, stuff that some of us have been waiting for have been yearning for like for example a cool zone palette so I was all excited when I first saw the pictures of this palette palette and immediately ordered it. So first let me tell you a little bit about Blush Tribe and then we'll talk some more about the palette. So reading directly from the Blush Tribe website, Blush Tribe was established in June 2017 in the heart of UK in London and has gone from strength to strength providing cruelty free cosmetic to customers all over the world. We started with providing synthetic makeup brushes, gradually introducing false vegan and cruelty free eyelashes, followed by a wide range of cosmetics including stunning color stories in the form of eyeshadow palettes. We anticipate this growth to continue over the coming years. We work closely with our manufacturing partner to bring you the highest quality cosmetics at a reasonable and affordable price. Now the Hasina 2 palette is a cruelty free palette. It is made in China but it's not sold in China so it's not subject to the animal, animal testing laws um, for those products that are sold in China. But the palette is made in China and it's really really pretty. I mean I don't know who this woman is on the cover but she's beautiful. <laughs> This palette was launched in July, I believe it was July, maybe even early July, and it was launched on pre-order, so that's when I purchased it, like the first day it came out, <laughs> I ordered it on the pre-order, and the pre-order price was £19.99, which converts to about 26 American dollars, and then after the pre-order time period, it went up to... I think it goes up to £22.99. So I got it during the pre-order. I'm pretty sure I paid shipping on it, which probably brought it to probably about $32, which is what the palette is going for now. So it was either $32 or $36. Right now it's being offered at $32. And I remember when I ordered it, I had to do the conversion, but they're offering it now in USD on the website so you don't have to do the conversion which is much easier. <laughs> so um, I don't, so I think I pay, I don't remember because I didn't keep the packaging because the palette was not shipped out until mid-August so I just got it like a week or so ago, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago and to be honest I ordered it so long ago that I actually forgot about it. So when it arrived, I was like, what is this? From England? Wait, what is this? Is this what did I order? <laughs> and it was the palette because it pre-ordered in July, but it wasn't scheduled to be shipped until mid or end of August. So it's it took a long time for it to get here. Um, but it finally came and she is a beauty. This is the outside packaging. It is cardboard. That is the back. I mean the artwork is just, just so beautiful. And then when you slide it, it is a sleeve and when you slide it out of the sleeve, the actual palette is the same exact uh, artwork. 
And on the back, you have the ingredients. It is cruelty free. It uh, has a shelf life of 24 months. And the ingredients, the first ingredient is talc followed by mica and followed by mineral oil. And this palette also has parabens. So if you're not a fan of any of those ingredients, you are not going to want to pick up this palette. And then when you open the palette, the same woman is on the inside cover and it's cardboard packaging, but it feels very sturdy and it's got a magnetic closure and it's kind of a glossy uh, cardboard. And you open it up and there's, there are the shades. There are 15 eyeshadows, seven shimmers, and eight mattes. And you're getting 28 grams of product. And they're all named after women. I'm not sure who these women are, where these names came from. Monique, Iris, Mohan, Destiny, Myrna, Jade. Um, so all interesting different names and all cool tone. You have some pinks, you have a purple, you have some greens, some mossy forest greens, some, ar some army greens. You have a deep dark black. And then you have your shimmers in blues, greens, purples, and pinks, and a lavender as well. So it's a nice mixture of eyeshadow colors. And I decided to use the green part of the palette today. So this section right here and this eyeshadow right there. And I will be showing you a tutorial on this look, which kind of got a little away from me, but it's whatever. <laughs> But before we get into the tutorial, let's get into the swatches. This is Monique, a beautiful lavender shimmer metallic shade with a hint of blue. This is Iris, a matte pinky mauve. This is Re, a matte green, blue green. This is Erin, a matte brighter green. And this is Mejia, a matte green. The second row, this is Destiny, a beautiful metallic plum. This is Mahan, a deep matte blue purple. This is Anika, a matte periwinkle blue. This is Shea, a beautiful metallic green. And this is Manai, a matte army green. This is grain or graining a metallic purple. This is Faye, a metallic icy blue gray. This is Mina, a metallic blue. This is Jade, a pretty metallic light green. And this is Ash, a matte dark black. The shimmers swatched average and the mattes on the whole swatched average this is a very pigmented black and the mattes don't feel powdery really when you you put your finger in the pan they feel kind of smooth and soft which is nice those were the swatches let's get into the tutorial if you would like to see how i created this look today using the hasina 2 palette then keep on watching everything i mentioned will be in this description box below i'm starting off with the makeup revolution conceal and define in the color c1 and i didn't mean to go all the way up to right under my brow like that but oh well now i'm starting off with re and i'm going to place that in the crease and a little above the crease and this um concealer really i didn't set it with any eyeshadow and it really helped to grip the eyeshadow um, which made it a little more <laughs> difficult to blend out. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, the pigment pigmentation is good. And I was able to blend it out with a little more elbow grease. And I'm just continuing to add the color, build it up, and to blend it out. I'm using my Sigma E25 shader brush little circles on the end there and then back and forth motions in the crease. Now I'm taking the color Man Eye which is this matte 
dark like army green and I'm taking a smaller BH Cosmetics rounded blending brush and I'm just kind of patting it um, in the outer V area and partially a quarter of the way onto the lid and then I'm going to start blending it out and into the crease and I'm using a smaller brush because I don't want to cover up that first color that I put into the crease I want it to be a gradient from that lighter like greenish blue shade to this darker matte green army shade and again using small little circles there on the edge of the eye and then back and forth and circular motions in the crease and now I'm just going back in with that original color to make sure that we don't lose any of it and that it blends seamlessly into that darker Manai color. You don't want to see where one shadow begins and the other ends, or the one ends and the other begins. Now I'm taking Shea on a wet brush. Uh, this is the Makeup Geek Flat Shader Brush, and it's a new acquisition to my collection, and I love it! And I'm just going to place that on the lid, and this is a really pretty color. And I'm using tapping, a combination of tapping and swiping motions to get it all over the lid. And it's very pretty. And I wish I had just left the look right here. <laughs> but I didn't. I wanted to play with some more shadows. <laughs> but this right here, if you just ended it right here, would have been great. And then going back in with that small shader brush and that dark Manai color just to make sure that it doesn't get lost in the sauce. And then no additional product and I'm just going to blend out the edges there above that Manai shade. And now I'm going to take Aaron and this is where <laughs> things went a little bit to the left. I, I don't know. I thought this was going to be a much brighter, lighter green, even though I swatched it already. And I was going to blend that. I am blending that out over the top of that um, first shade. And it was just a little too dark. And now I'm changing the brush to a more fluffy bullet brush. This is my Sonia Kashuk small rounded blending brush. Because that flat shader brush I was using was just applying it a little too harsh. So I'm taking this brush to blend those two colors together. And to blend out that shade a little bit. And this just kind of just darkened it up, which I didn't like. So I went into my Viseart Editorial Brights palette. And I used that lighter lime green. And I used the same brush. And I'm just going to try to lighten this up just a little bit. Now I'm taking a clean Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm just going to try to blend those shadows out a little bit make them a little less harsh a little less pigmented and blend them all together and this is the colored rain queen of hearts palette and i'm taking that color air and i'm putting that under the brow to blend out that um, green a little bit more and i'm going to use this as my matte underbrow highlight and that's why I didn't want to take up my um, concealer so far because I didn't want it to be this light under my eyebrow and then I decided to take this color jade and it is dry and I'm just using my finger to pat it on in the middle which of course lightened things up a bit but I kind of wish I had just kept the dark green because I really preferred it that way but this applied beautifully and now I'm taking a Sephora Eyeliner in the color number 20, Good Mood, and it's a green, like a metallic green, and I'm just going to use that in my waterline and a little bit below the lower lash line, and it's going to serve as a base for Re, and I'm taking my Makeup Geek pencil brush, and I'm just going to blend that over top of that eyeliner. And I love this pencil brush. It's small. It's pointed and it, pre it precisely applies the eyeshadow. And now going back in with Manai in the same brush, 
And I'm going to blend that over top of that lash shade and go probably about uh, halfway across the lower lash line. And now I'm taking Jade and I use this dry and it's very pigmented as you can see. And I'm just using that same pencil brush that I wiped off and I'm putting that into the inner corner. And I added some lashes from the House of Lashes. They are the Siren Minis. I used the Inglot number 77 gel eyeliner for the liner and my wing. And that is the completed look. I finished off today's look with a nude lip. And I think I've come across the perfect nude lip combination here. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing lipstick, does it? I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but today I use my MAC lip liner in the shade Stone and my MAC lipstick in the shade Styled in Sepia, which unfortunately it was discontinued by MAC. Damn you, MAC. That one is really like the perfect new shade. Anyway, and on top of that, I put on my Sephora lip gloss in the shade Cappuccino. So what do I think about the new Hasina 2 palette? from Blush Tribe. So far so good, I like it. I only used a few shadows today, but I liked the look that I created. It wasn't what I was going for. I did take a couple of left turns with it, <laughs> but I still like how it came out. And the shadows all performed very well. The mattes were pigmented and blended out nicely. I did get kick up in the pan, but not a whole lot. Um, about average I would say and the shimmers worked fairly well I mean I used that shea shimmer that moss green shimmer on my lid wet I didn't even try it dry but then I used the jade shimmer in my inner corner dry and it really packed a punch so I'm really happy with how the look came out with how the shadows performed again this was my first time using it and I haven't used all the shadows yet but I'm looking forward to playing with this palette some more as you know I always am with new palettes <laughs> so if you would like to see any more looks with this palette please let me know in the comments below is this on your radar did you pick up this palette are you thinking about picking it up? I mean, if you're a cool toned eyeshadow lover, really, really, really nice color story in this palette. Um, in terms of the ingredients, I don't know. You might, that might turn some people off, turn some people away, uh, which is understandable, but uh, a nice, nice eyeshadow palette and a good introduction for me to blush tribe this indie brand i want to thank you for joining me today if you like this video please go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing because i do eyeshadow tutorials makeup hauls reviews and swatches here on my channel every saturday i hope to see you again next week until then bye bye